Welcome to this painting tutorial. In this video we're going to look at how to paint an Alpha Legion Chaos Space Marine. This is a very simple and cool color scheme for one of the coolest warbands of Chaos Space Marines there is. There's fewer colors and steps than other tutorials that I've made and the end result is pretty nice. If you like this video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you'd like to support my channel stay after the video to know how. I'm going to start by priming the model in grey with Rust-Oleum Automotive Grey Primer. You can use any primer that you like. This is a cheap primer, so use it very lightly if you're going to use it. And to thin down my paints, I use Liquitex Slow Dry Fluid Retarder. I'm going to start by using Macrash Blue, or Macrag Blue. And with this color, I'm going to base coat the whole armor of the miniature. I won't bother to paint the bolter, just the, the armor, not the horns. And uh, you have to thin down the color at least one to one to have a smooth coverage and to minimize any paint strokes or crumbs that you're going to get while brushing the miniature. And if you use the Liquitex slow dry. Uh, that's going to help on extending the life of the paint and make it easier to work with. Next, I'm going to use Sandry Dust, and with this color, I'm going to paint the bones or the horns. In this video, we only have uh, this area. So, some other Space Marines have bone around the armor. You can watch any of my other tutorials to learn how to paint them, but this is. Uh, the basics. Next, I'm going to use Lat Belcher, and this is a little bit more time consuming step because we're going to paint most of the details with this color. It, it includes all of the iron parts, which, such as the bolter and stuff like that, and all of the details that are going to be silver, like very bright silver. And uh, just carefully, I'm trying to paint all of these details without painting on the blue. If you do, it's fine. You can just clean it up. And uh, yeah, just take your time and base coat all of these uh, areas. Next, I'm going to use Drakenhof Nightshade. And at first, I was a little bit worried that the blue would look bad on the silver. But uh, at the end, I decided to leave it like that. It actually, the blue tint that it gives to the silver looks pretty cool. So I used this around the whole model. I just avoided the bolter and the bone areas. So I'm just shading the whole model and try not to let it pull a lot. Just try to give shadow to all of the nooks and crannies. And then I'm going to use Agrax Airshade to paint the bolter and the bone parts. After that right, I'm going to start cleaning up. I'm going to use my crack blue again, thin down with the uh, water or just or the uh, slow dry that I recommended and this step is just cleaning up and leaving the shade on the recesses we're going to pick up the most exposed parts of the armor you can leave some of that are hidden like uh, behind the backpack and stuff like that you can leave that on the shaded color but most of the armor plates you have to clean them up and leave the shade color on the recesses for that I'm using a size 2 brush with a good tip so that I can uh, paint all these areas quickly. Next I'm going to use Cavalite Green and with the detail brush and thin down with the slow dry I'm going to uh, start uh, edge highlighting all of the armor on the model. This might be a kind of difficult to see because uh, this color and the McCrack Blue are very similar values and it looks 
it kind of looks very similar to the camera and it's hard to see but when you do it yourself you will be able to tell the difference between one and the other this Cabalite green is a very good base for the next mood green so that it just doesn't look like one color over the other but it looks like a little transition of color there next I'm going to use the mood green and with this color I'm going to try and make thinner edge highlights with a fine detail brush and leave a little bit of the other color, the Cavalite green showing on the edges so that it looks like, like a glow kinda and uh, yeah that's it we have to go over all of the edges of the model again you can leave some of them out if you don't want to like in the shoulder pants but I think it kinda looks very cool so I did it anyway Next, I'm going to start using Iron Breaker. Thin down with the Liquitex Slow Dry or water, depends on what you decide to use. And with this color, I'm just going to pick up all of the silver details again to make them really shine. Uh, leave the recesses on the previous color and around the rivets, if you can, just leave it like it is. But most of these areas, just pick them up and bring the shine again on these areas. It's not very difficult. Next, on the gun and on the exhausts of the backpack, I'm going to use Necron Compound. To make it uh, easier and quicker, I'm just going to dry brush these areas. Be very careful not to dry brush on places that you already painted but this is a way faster it's a faster way to paint the bolter and the backpack next I'm going to use the Shavati bone and thin down uh, a bit too much in this video I had to apply like three coats but it's better to apply thin coats than one thick one so that it looks uh, even and well uh, a good solid coat so just uh, try to cover the whole bone area just leaving the edges on the previous color now just to finish the model we have to paint the lenses of the eyes and I started by applying a coat of corn red to the whole eye then Evil Sun Scarlet is used on the half front of the lens of the eye Then I'm going to use Wild Rider Red and this is just the very front tip of the lens to give a little glow effect and to finish it off I'm going to use White Scar to paint a little reflection of light on the back part of the lens and this is the end result I'm really happy with the way the miniature turned out. It's a very cool effective color scheme that is fun to paint if you're doing a big force of Chaos Space Marines. Uh, what I like most of this color scheme is the very sharp contrast between the blue and the bright silver. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found this video helpful and informative and that you enjoyed watching the video. If you like it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and if you would like to further support my channel you can stay after the video to learn how. Remember that you can find me on Facebook, the link is on the description below. Feel free to leave questions and comments on the comment section below and let me know what you would like to see next. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.
you stayed great thank you very much for watching my video and if you would like to further support my channel you can become my patreon on patreon you can pledge as little as a dollar a month and you are helping me create more and better content if you can't that's fine because you're helping my channel a lot just for watching and sharing but you can read all of the details if you follow the link in the description below i hope you can spare a dollar to make this hobby of mine a job for which i can get paid thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next video